I joined Akash in 9th standard. Mm -hmm. So I joined early. I gave Anthony an 8th standard. Pretty much a game changing moment for me. Now I'm competing all across India. Yes, now I'm there. Yes. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the class. Now I'm sure you can see me and can hear me clearly. Good evening. Good evening. How are you all? I don't know. I have a very, very strong feeling that I'm meeting you after a very long time. Is that so? Good evening, good evening everyone. I've missed you a lot. I hope that all of you are in good health and are really excited for today's session. Yes, I'm good. Can we have the chat a little bit bigger over here? Thank you so much. Thank you for asking me. I'm also good. I'm also good. Yes. Awesome. So good evening everyone, welcome to the class, I'm your teacher Ankita and I welcome you in today's class. So today's a very special class, right? And of course, as from the topic only, we know that what we'll be discussing today. We have a menti uh, quiz also that will be helping us to understand the different patterns of the question that uh, will be coming in the Antha examination if you have registered yourself. Yes. Okay, everyone. <coughs> yes, I do remember you. I do remember. Awesome. Good evening, everyone. So let me just quickly welcome each one of you once again, and then we'll start our session. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the 9th and 10th channel of Baijus. I am your teacher, Ankita, and in today's class, we will be discussing about the Anthe examination, and of course, we'll be looking at the questions. Awesome. Good evening, everyone. Yes, Bhavesh, I remember you. Yes, yes, Arti, Arushi. Good evening. Yes. Can we have the chat here, please? Yes. Best reference book depends upon after the NCRT and the NCRT exemplar. We have this chart. We have other publications also that actually gives you a good knowledge about it. So we have various like we have the MTG and other books also. They all are really very good. Yesterday we have Menti. Yes, we have Menti, Menti, Menti. Yes, Abhinav, I remember you or Innovative 26. Yes, Anamika, good evening, Sonal. Thank you so much, Bhavesh. We have Somlata. Can you, uh, NCRT books, we can't sell, but you can go and buy it from the market. Dove Khat, how can I eat that? Good evening, everyone. So let's get started. So we're here, we'll be quickly talking about the very important examination. That is Anthe examination, which is the Akash National Talent Hunt examination. It's for class 7 to 12, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. Of course, a big grade, right, we have over here. Then, of course, this is an off, uh, this particular exam will be happening both in the offline as well as in the online mode 
and most importantly if you register for this examination and if you qualify this examination you can actually get a chance to go to NASA apart from that of course you can avail amazing scholarship programs that you can learn along with Akash and Baijus for your higher studies right for 11th and 12th right if you want to study for engineering or for the you know um, for the needing yes oh ok uh, I think that's clear right everyone okay so let's quickly talk about this I'm sure all of you are kind of aware about this yes Arushi we have Menti today yes we have Menti we will be looking at the questions yes okay so what we have we have the Akash Baiju's page right and of course you can easily register yourself if you haven't registered now the link is in the description below quickly go there register yourself you need to add your phone number you will get a verification OTP and then you write and you are there then of course very very simple step of you getting registered over here and once you sign in you will be able to access all the important information that we have right be it the anti video solutions the previous year paper and lots more that can actually help us right talking about the syllabus because many of you are asking about the syllabus what we have over here so over here we have the class 10 syllabus physics chemistry and bio will be focusing on the bio part and in bio what we have we have life processes control and coordination and how do organisms reproduce three chapters we have in the anthro examination from the bio part for class 10 yes very good very good uh, Vivek so for this you need to click on the link which is in the description below that will be taking to you to the page you just need to enter your, your number or your parents phone number you will get an OTP and with that you are uh, you are registered then you need to fill a form write uh, whether you want to write for 10th class J preparation or 10th class need preparation and then of course that you can easily register yes yes Naya your reproduction is pending as of now but we will be starting on the first week of October so get ready very good Arushi register right so very quickly everyone we have a very brief summary of the syllabus you can look over here life processes we have three or oh, sorry four important topics we have nutrition respiration transportation and excretion then we have control and coordination right we have the nervous system in humans animals basically hormones and animals and of course the coordination in plants and we have the reproductor uh, in how do organisms reproduce we have asexual reproduction sexual reproduction in plants sexual reproduction in the human beings and the reproductive health so that's the syllabus we have everyone for the uh, class 10 are we clear with this quick thumbs up everyone are we clear with this and let's start the mentee yes everyone are we clear with this quick thumbs up everyone ask your friends to quickly join now what we have now is the menti quiz and in this menti quiz we will be looking ahead uh, in the how the you know the different varieties of questions that can come in the ANT examination and of course these questions we have picked from the sample paper and from the previous year papers of the ANT examination yes very good everyone so let's quickly move ahead to this and I will be just switching it over here so then I will be moving and I would be needing your help right so let's move ahead you need to nevertheless it's done yeah. we can you can adjust again like full screen yes no issues no issues so today what we'll do we will just quickly see the different patterns of question we have right and uh, so today is the introductory class right we will be coming up with each and every chapter questions and of course we will have the different types of questions all together so don't worry as we always say that we are here with you we will make sure that we are giving you all the important information all the aids right that from our side that we can provide you so that your examination is super super amazing yes very good so we'll just wait while the team is fixing the background right uh, basically have the full screen yes many of you are asking for the code so the code is 21750031 yes Muskan you need to open the new uh, tab you have to write www.menti.com and then you have to use the code which is 
2175031. Right? Very good, everyone. Yes, quickly come on here. Very good, very good. So I hope that all of you are joining until that time. Uh, we will just quickly read through the instructions. So the first section that we have will have the MCQs question, where of course we have to pick the correct answer from the four options that we'll have, right? So uh, we have these questions, right? I think it's not the six, but we have five multiple choice questions. And of course, we'll be looking into the different patterns of this question. So everyone quickly a thumbs up and give me a quick thumbs up and we'll get started. Hi, Arushi. Welcome to the class. Very good. You have logged in. Very good. Very good. Very good, Abhinav. <coughs> yes. Rosina, Arushi, Raghav, thumbs up. I can see. So can we start, right? Okay, I'm waiting. Hi. Good evening. Blackpink. Faraz, explore. Rani, sorry. Abhinav, Prakash. Aradhya, welcome to the class. Oh, Piku, I hope that uh, you know the reason behind it and we will be helping you with this. And we will be making sure that you, know, you are enjoying the subject more and learning along with us. Yes. Muskari, you need to open a new tab there on the menti you have to write www.menti.com they'll be asking you for the code and then you can write the code which is 21750031 yes everyone good evening and welcome to the uh, welcome to the class yes is it is it abhina hi just kirat okay now let's get started everyone here we have where we have a mixed bag of 10 questions right so all of you all the best now of course the idea over here is to make sure that you are aware about the different patterns right um yes yes very good that's nice people that you know that what is the reason behind it now of course you can work along with us and of course now you will be working uh, how you can clarify your concepts right and let's see Yes, I do remember Pooja. <laughs> Definitely, I do remember Pooja. Come on, everyone. Only 15 of you are here. I think I would... Rec there are so many of you are here on the YouTube. So, I will give... So, I'll just wait for some more time. Everyone, quickly join. Yes. Come on, everyone. I can see so many of you are there on YouTube. Qu quickly, quickly, everyone. Quickly join. We are waiting for you. Right? Yes, 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 yes. I can see the number increasing quickly. Everyone join. We'll just wait for one more minute and then we'll start our quiz. So what we are doing today, we are talking about the ANTHE examination. We have talked about the syllabus, right? And now what we will do, we will be having the look at the Menti quiz. And of course, there we will be able to see the different types of questions that will be coming in the ANTHE examination. Are we clear, everyone? Yes, thank you so much, Anaya. Yes, 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 yes. Quickly, everyone, quickly join. Seems like still a little bit hung up over here, right? I think many of you, many of you are getting struck somewhere. Quickly join, everyone. See, now the number is increasing. Very good, very good. You are the B, right? Okay, nice. Yeah, we, where's the B? B, B, yes, this is a B. Very good. That's nice, Suresh. My name is Ankita Blackpink. I think there's a network issue, right? Yes, okay. Now I can see the number is increasing. Come on, everyone. I'll wait for some time. We have to wait for our friends, right? I'm sure there's a little bit struggling over there for some net. Yes, because I can see so many of you here on YouTube. Those of you who are joining us right now, please join the Menti quiz. We will be looking at the question which came right in the ANTE examination previous year. 
and so in some of the questions are there from the sample paper also so quickly join yes so what you need to do you need to go on www.menti.com and then you have to use the code 21750031 yes please hit the like button also thank you arushi please everyone hit the like button Suresh, I will start the honor. I will do the honor of starting it. But I think we'll wait for our friends because I think many of many of them are kind of got struck. Right? They're not able to join. Let me also try. Let me also see whether what is the issue we have with the mentee. Yes. Do tell us everyone if you're facing any issue. Please do uh, let us know. Yes, you just need to write menti and then of course you need to write the code which is 21750031. Now the number is increasing quickly everyone. No issues ma'am, right? Okay. Yes, I have also joined the quiz. And I am this number 8. <laughs> nice, very good. So let's quickly start now. I would request all of you to quickly join, right? And uh, the code is uh, 21750031. Quickly, everyone. <clears throat> okay. So let's get started. Right? Let's get started with the very first question, everyone. All the best. We will be discussing about these questions. And here we go. Here we have the very first question and the question is a cellular process required uh, one minute let's see okay a cellular process required one uh, four zero okay 1403 kilojoule of energy how many molecules of ATP should be broken using water to provide this amount of energy it's a very interesting question now uh, <clears throat> in your science textbook right of the pro of the class 10th in the chapter life process you know orange color box they have mentioned about the value of 1 ATP right the energy basically we get if there's a breakdown of the 1 ATP molecules just giving you a hint over here right so <coughs> so we have the amount of energy yes we have the amount of energy that we have how many molecules of ATP should be broken for using water to provide this amount of energy it's a very simple division very very good right the correct answer is 46 very good 14 of you have voted for the correct answer that's very good everyone yes the hint is that the energy release is 30.5 kilojoules per mole so here we have right I'm sure you must have seen this in your textbooks also so see if you look at the first question itself we can see that there's a lot of detail into it right and the questions are being asked from those small boxes that we have so we will be paying attention to those questions also okay so we, here we have the answer with a simple revision we will get the answer which is the 46 ATP molecules I hope that you got it right yes everyone are you getting it nice Ta -da 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 -da. Very good everyone. Awesome. Let's move to the next question which is question number 2. Here we have question number 2 everyone on the screen. If you got this wrong, no worries. It's not a competition. We all are learning right and these questions will actually help us to understand more about the ANTHE examination of course. More how we can actually prepare uh, for the uh, either the Olympiad offer our boards or for the ANTHE examination. So overall we will be have a lot of information. Okay, so moving to the question number two everyone and here we go. Here we go, here we go and the question is select the correct group of organism which break down the food material outside their body. It's a very very interesting question, right? Outside their body and then absorb the digestive food materials. Very easy question I would say. In the options, we have cosketa and the ticks. Then we have bread mold and yeast, leeches and lice, and tapeworm and mushroom. So we are now looking at the group of the organism, which are the ones that actually 
break down the material outside their body and then they engulf it. It's a very simple question. Yes. It's a very easy question. Yes. Quickly everyone. I can see number of students have increased on the Menti. Very good. If you're new here and if you don't know how to join the Menti quiz, you need to open the new tab. Then you have to write the Menti. There will be a page. You need to click on that Menti page. And of course, they'll be asking you for the code. And the code is 21750031. Very good. And the correct answer is bread mold and the yeast. Very, very good, everyone. So we know that bread mold and the yeast are the fungi. Right? They belong to the kingdom fungi. And fungi uses the saprophytic or the saprotropic mode of nutrition. Where they actually break down the food, right? And of course... Uh, Break down the food outside and then of course they engulf it. Very good. Right? Cuscutar, ticks, leeches, lice and tapeworm. All are what? All are parasitic. They use the parasitic mode of nutrition. Yes. Okay, I got it. Maybe they don't understand. Just write menti on the Google. Write on the net. Just write that and you will be able to have it. Okay. So here we have the explanation slide for that. And let's go to the question number three. Here we go. <coughs> question number three, everyone. Amongst the following, select the correct pathway. Just read the equation and just see the correct pathway for the aerobic condition. Right? We know that in aerobic condition, we have the oxygen. That's the biggest hint I can give you. So which of these reactions is the correct answer? So we have glucose, cytoplasm pyruvate mitochondria ethanol carbon dioxide energy then we have carbon dioxide water energy then we have carbon dioxide plus water lactic acid plus energy yes now of course you remember in the life process chapter we have discussed about it it's a really very important equation there's a small table in the textbook right which have the three flow chart coming out from like from the starting and it's really important so I hope that you got this correctly. You have some time, right? Now the, the duration that we have given over here are 60 seconds, which is a good, good amount of time for us to understand and then pick the correct answer. <coughs> Very good. Let's see. 26 of you have voted for the correct answer and which is absolutely correct. So we know that glucose after the process of digestion, it will be coming to the cell and the cytoplasm only. You will see the breakdown of the glucose to the pyruvate, right? And this will be moving along with the oxygen to the mitochondria. And then, of course, we'll be releasing the energy, carbon dioxide and water. Very good. Okay. Moving ahead, right? We have this equation. You can take a screenshot of this, but you already have. Yes, you already have this. Very, very good. Nice. Okay. Now we have question number four. Hopefully we'll have the leader vote really very soon. Question number four, everyone on the screen. And here we go. If a person liver is devoid of the bile duct, then which of the following process will get affected, right? So if the person's bile duct, right? Of course. Is not working properly or if it's not there which of the process will be getting affected digestion of protein digestion of fats digestion of carbohydrates or the absorption of the digestive food it's a very simple question i would say right we're talking about the bile which is secreted right uh, from the liver liver is a bond that actually secretes the bile and bile gets stored in the gall bladder very good very good everyone so the bile gets stored on the in the gallbladder and from there when it releases it makes the food alkaline also right the food which is coming from the stomach is acidic in nature so of course the actions of the enzymes will not be able to happen on the acidic medium of the food so the bile will make them alkaline also so that the enzymes which are secreted by the pancreas and the intestine can actually work on to that very good so the correct answer is the digestion of the fats. Very good. Yes. The emulsification of fats will not take place. And emulsification of fat is nothing but we will have the big fat molecules, right? That will be broken down to the small, small droplets, right? Or the small globules. Yes. 
we will have definitely the leaderboard but I'm not sure where when we'll have maybe after one more question we'll have the leaderboard yes uh, Niharika the date of the ANTHE examination is 3rd and 5th of November then we have it on 6th and 7th also right uh, I'm just sure about the 3rd of November for sure and 5th you can go and check it out there are two dates you will see online and the offline uh, dates okay everyone are we clear can we move ahead yes quick thumbs up everyone I hope that you're enjoying it yes very very good okay moving to the next question question number five and hopefully after that we will have the leaderboard here we go question number five we have red color of the blood is due to the presence of oh it's a really very easy question just telling you I'm also playing along with you okay so the red color of the blood is due to the presence of chloroplast chlorophyll hemoglobin or the blood platelets it's a, such an easy question other yeah the time is more but if you all of you will if you you know all of you will quickly vote we can move ahead yes very good so the red color of the blood is due to the presence of what we know that that red color like of course blood has a red color right and blood is something which actually is a type of connective tissue and it carries a right of course blood specifically carries the nutrient through all the different parts of the body different gases right in that RBC we have which is the very specific role of carrying the oxygen and of course carry back the carbon dioxide also now we have a very special pigment which is a protein that gives a red color right that gives a red color to the blood and that is the hemoglobin very very good very good some of you were asking about the code code is 21750031 very good okay I think after this we'll uh, we might have the leaderboard but yeah I'm still playing along with you here we go oh my god can't believe <laughs> see yeah I'm the fastest one I should not be very happy about it but I was just testing but I'm happy that I'm there on the top yeah it's a good feeling right yes so I think uh, I was trying and testing whether everything is working fine and seems like it does <laughs> okay everyone so here we have the leaderboard so we have uh, Shri Hari which is there on the top of the leaderboard then we have Rakesh, Aarti, Shrishti sorry Shrishti then we have Yogesh, Arushri, Karman, Sanatina and Tabagda nice everyone okay no issues no issues it's okay Raj welcome to the class right quickly join the mentee we have five more questions yes very good very good okay now let's move ahead and let's see the next section that we have right and of course in this section we have the session and the reason type so let's quickly see we know that okay Sanatani yes Kush okay we are not counting that off enough good evening Madhavi so we, we know that right in this particular question there are two statements we have to read the statement we have to identify whether both the statements are correct or incorrect and that we have to find out whether the reason is a correct explanation for this statement A that's a very easy thing okay here we go everyone let's see what we have in question number six right here we have question six question six question six okay when we eat something we like our mouth waters right and of course uh, what do you think <coughs> right we eat various types of food which has to pass through the digestive tract so you have to tell me that whether both the statements are correct or incorrect or whether the reason the our statement is the right explanation for it so the assertion over here is that we when we eat something we like our mouth has water that's for sure yes right I think then the reason is that we eat various types of food which has to pass the digestive tract do you think that it's a right reason for the statement A? think about it yes think about it do you think that it's a reason for the statement A? Now you have to ask why right 
we eat something we like enough our water has uh, sorry our mouth has water but of course it has a different reason altogether now i'm sure i gave away the answer but i hope that all of you got the answer right we know that both the statements are correct but of course uh, the uh, the second statement is not the correct explanation of the first one very good very good so that's the uh, assertion of the reason and we have another type of the question over here everyone is now i want all of you to pay attention now uh, such type of questions you will have two answers okay now of course we have this right more than one correct answer so there could be two answers so you so you need to click actually twice so let's see what question we have with us over here so it's a question number 7 and let's see what we have uh the question is which of the following changes is or are common both in male and female right which of these are uh, basically are uh, the common thing right yes but i think uh right which of these is a common uh but i think i'm not sure whether you voted yes i think that's an issue we can't click both yes that's there that's there yes even i tried it it's, it didn't happen for me also because i think we could just click once so i think there's an issue in many we tried it but it happened but i'm not sure whether it's happening or now or uh, now or not yes so of course we have the starting of the menstrual cycle thin hair appear on the legs and the arms and skin frequently become oily thick hair grow on the face of course we know this is a very easy question the common thing that we will see both in the male and the female is that there will be thin hair appearance on the uh, legs right over here so uh, thin hair appear on the leg and on the arm and skin frequently becomes oily so basically those of you who have voted for either these two will get the points okay so either if you have voted for one right thin hair appears on the legs and the arm and if you have voted for skin frequently become oily you will get points for that because both the answer are correct okay so i know that over here in menti we have a little bit of restriction but both the answer are correct so you will be getting the marks so cool with that right yes okay both the options are correct can we have the chat please yes thank you okay everyone so don't worry if you have voted for b or if you have voted for c you will be getting the marks okay okay that's we have this type of questions also okay very good now let's move ahead to the is this for cbse or for anthe anupam uh, for this is for the anthe examination which is a competitive examination of course it's a, a kind of definitely for the competitive examination i would say for cbse for sure because we are learning from the cbse only and of course you have your board examination so yeah it's a mix of both okay question number 8 everyone on the screen will again you can vote for any of these you will get the marks x is a male reproductive part of the flower right and of course uh, right x is a male reproductive part of the flower which produces pollen here x consist of what so we have anther petals filament and stigma so if even if you vote for one correct answer you will be getting it right you don't have to wait for click on both yes good evening good evening hello we are talking about the male reproductive part of the flower that produces the pollen so we know that in the flower we have four important whorls right so we have sepal and petals which are non essential whorl right now sepal are the green leaf small leaf like structure which actually provide the protection to the uh, bird growing bird right and then we have the petals which are the bright color that are there to attract the pollinators right then of course we have the male reproductive part which has so and so part and then we have female reproductive part which has which we call it as pistil or the carpel which has the stigma style and ovary and in the male reproductive part we have the anther and filament right which combinedly called as the stamen yes so we are clear right everyone so the correct answer is the anther very good very good so anther will be producing the pollens yes very good 
right? How does the small intestine make the movement? So the movement that happens in the small intestine, uh, we call them like it just moves. Of course, we have the uh, smooth muscles there will actually help in the movement. There's a wave-like motion that happens. And of course, inside it, we have the villi which actually help in the absorption. Yes, A, B, C, D, this can actually help you in the Olympiads also. Very good. Over here, we have the structure of the flower, right? You can take a picture of it. Very good, very good. Not you, the kids. Yes. Very good, boy. Very good. And here we go ahead to the question number nine. Yes, peristalsis movement. We will have it for, uh, chap for, for chapter 9. Ma'am, there is chapter 6 question, uh, chapter 9 question. Uh, are you talking about the class 10th? Okay. Please do tell us. Very good. Last question. Uh, sorry, second last question. A human uses sexual mode of reproduction in the earlier teenager. A whole new set of changes will occur. Right? So again, you have to find out whether the, both the statements are correct or incorrect or whether the reason is a right explanation for it. So, uh, uh, so the question number uh, chapter 9, can you just tell it? I think you are talking about the heredity. Or about, so we have, uh, so we have three chapters in the ANTHE examination. We have life process, we have control and coordination, and then we have how do organisms reproduce. Heredity is the ninth chapter, right? But we don't have the question from heredity. Yes, very good, very good, everyone. Quickly vote. Humans use uh, uses actually sexual mode of reproduction. The reason behind it is that in the early teen age, uh, teen age years, a whole new set changes occurs. So we know that both the statements are absolutely correct, but the reason statement is not the right explanation for the A statement. A, B, C, D, uh, you can check on the schedule page. You'll be, be, you'll be able to get the uh, updates about that. Definitely, Kushu Ma'am will be doing a session on that. Yes, now everyone over here. Now I want you all of you to focus over here. Can you see this? Now these are very special type of question we have. And this will need some time to please hear me out. Right? So this particular section will have the matrix match type question. And of course, in the question, you will have two columns. Column A and column 1 and 2 column, right? Now, in the column 1, you will have four entries. And in column 4 also, sorry, column 2, you will have four entries. And then you have to match. Now, over here also, if you see... We have A, B, C, D and on the opposite side we have P, Q, R, S. So A can have two matches, B can also have two matches, three matches, four matches. So that's how we will be moving ahead with this. Are we clear? Yes. So you have to match and you have to put a tick over there. Now of course in Mendy you will not be able to put a tick. So we have the options for you. Right. Let's see the question. Read the question correctly. Don't be in hurry burry and give the answer around say. Here we have question number 10 and the last question. The question number 10 over here is. Match the following. Okay, we have this right. We have, we have to match the uterus and uh, yes. So we have in column 1, we have the reproductive part of the female reproductive system. On the other side, we have the role. So uterus, placenta, ovi duct and ovary. So uterus. Right? So, what is the main function of the uterus? Right? Do you have to match it with a A goes with either P, Q, R, S. Same goes for placenta. Read the options carefully and then you have to pick these options. Now, the or I always tell you in match the following. If you are 100% sure about one thing, go and match it first. Then, of course, see whether that is there in the other options also. If the first one is very unique, then you know that that option is correct. If you find that there are two options which have the same beginning, go for the second one. No issues, no issues, Ganga. We're just practicing, just practicing. Don't worry. So here we have, right, the question. Very good, very good, very good. Yes. So, of course, the uterus was there where we will see the implantation happening. Placenta will be the one which will be providing the nutrition to the growing embryo. 
we have the oviduct where the fertilization will take place and we have the ovaries where of course we will see the production of the eggs right so that was a question and over here we have the answer for that right uterus embryo is getting implanted over here it'll get it'll get uh, you know move to the uterus and it'll get uh, stuck over there right and of course not stuck basically implanted and the growth will happen yes uh, we have placenta that will be providing the nutrition to embryo. Then we have oviduct, fertilization occurs here. And ovary, it contains th thousands of eggs. <coughs> Very good. With this, we are done with our quiz today. And we'll have the final leaderboard over here. Right? Yes. So, over here, we uh, have the... Uh, right? Over here we have the final and we have the winner. Ta -da! Yes. So we have uh, the Michelle, we have Sri Hari, then we have Yogesh. Okay, now the other thing I can't see, I'm sorry. Yes, we have Rohit, we have Anushka, we have Mrinal. Right, we have a crown. And I'm sorry, I can't see the other name. Really sorry. Yes. Very good, very good. So we have uh, Michelle, Sri Hari, Yogesh. Yes. Good evening, everyone. Yes. So it's a final leaderboard that we have over here. Now we'll be moving back to the quiz. Uh, sorry, moving back to the slide that we have, right? So, of course, we'll just quickly go back and see what we have over here. Okay, it's not the one. Yes, everyone. So with that, we are done with this, right? And there's a very interesting thing which is happening on 5th of October. So you know what? On 5th of October, so we have a parents club meet, right? So I'm, I know that, you know, there are times that your parents feel that, okay, what you guys are doing? So you can ask your parents to join this meeting along, uh, right? And of course, Chetna Man will be there. And ma'am will be talking to your parents, right? And of course, your parents can actually uh, come to the class, right? Basically, it will be a webinar. And of course, they can talk about the so many other in in things, right? The parents are concerned of. So it's a very, very good webinar. Very, very informative session for the all your parents. So please ask your parents to register your, themselves, right? Of course, you can be a part of that. But your parents would definitely enjoy this, right? And of course, it will be happening on the 5th of October. And which is the world's teacher day. So we'll have lots of fun, right? Anupam, my name is Ankita. And with that, everyone, we'll say bye-bye, right? If you haven't joined the, the Telegram group, please join. You'll get all the notes over there. And we'll be meeting also on live sessions there. And as I always say, now all of us say, we have got you covered. And don't forget to hit the like button. Share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Yes. Yes, everyone. So please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, right? Yes, Bada, we will have the class. Thank you, Abhinav. No, Anubam, I don't know. Okay, everyone. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the class, everyone. We'll meet you really very soon. Bye-bye. Take care.